अच्छा सो टेल मी गाइस व्हाट आर द व्हाट इज कोलिगेटिव प्रॉपर्टी रेज योर हैंड इफ यू नो द डेफिनेशन फॉर कोलिगेटिव प्रॉपर्टी दैट वी लर्नड इन द लास्ट क्लास व्हाट इज कोलिगेटिव प्रॉपर्टी ओके हानिया टेल मी व्हाट द डेफिनेशन यस हानिया uh the properties of the solutions which depend only on the number of solute particles irrespective of its nature related to the total number of particles of solution ha uh, ye last mein aapne kya kiya or relative to relative to the total number of particles of the solution ha theek hai fine but i don't think there is any need of adding that last statement if you are saying uh, it just depends on the solute particles then also it is fine okay that means the two statement depends on number of solute particles and doesn't depend on identity of ha uh, doesn't depend on nature of solute or identity of solute okay so you can write any of these things chaliye so in the last class kaha tak hua tha aapka we had done till uh, elevation in boiling point right elevation in boiling point tak ho gaya now let us write another question acha one more thing that i saw none of you are submitting the assignments ha huh? is there anyone who has submitted the last assignment colligative properties there yeah, there are three assignments i will be submitting by today maybe okay so but i don't think any uh, anyone else have submitted the assignment ha na theek hai but please start submitting the assignment okay please start submitting the assignment there was some lag and i did not get the assignment kisne submit kiya nahi submit kiya but now i have all the control and i can see who has submitted and who has not submitted so i will be asking you in every class okay please submit the assignment aise kaam nahi chalega hai na padhna hai so when you are studying then you have to solve questions and also class karne se nahi fayda hoga aap logo ko kuch bhi okay then write the next question that sorry write the next topic that is depression in freezing point depression in depression in freezing point first of all we will define what is freezing point and then we will discuss how the depression happens in freezing point when we add a particular solute when we not a particular solute when we add any solute then there is a depression in freezing point how does that happen so first of all let us write the definition of freezing point so what is freezing point the freezing point of a substance please write this with me the freezing point of a substance is the temperature at which is the temperature at which is the temperature at which the vapor pressure of the vapor pressure of solid and liquid of the substance gets equal or we can add r equal okay so that is the freezing point now in freezing point what happens when we have a equilibrium between solid and liquid that is the freezing point and if the equilibrium is obtained between solid and liquid then what will happen the vapor pressure of solid will be also equal to the vapor pressure of liquid okay so when we have this type of equilibrium then the vapor pressure of solid is equal to vapor pressure of liquid acha now we will make a plot okay so in this plot we will be having vapor pressure in the y axis and we will be having the temperature in the x axis temperature here okay Let me just go back, okay? 
to Rolle's law graph. Sorry, not Rolle's law, elevation boiling point graph. Okay. Mamuna, you will tell me. Mamuna, you will tell me when all this highlighted part, now this yellow part, in all of these temperatures and vapor pressure, the solvent is liquid only. Yes or no, Mamuna? Yes, sir. Anna? And after it reaches this point, it becomes vapor. It starts to become vapor. Similarly, you will have a range of temperature and vapor pressure where the where you have where the substance is solid. So let us start from here. Let us see that these are the points. These are the points where the where the substance is solid. Okay. Now, when the substance will become liquid, let us say that this is the point where the substance starts to become liquid. Here we are having pure solvent. Okay, there is no solute here. This is not a solution. We are having a pure solvent. Now, when this it will become when it will become liquid, the increase in vapor pressure will be a bit drastic. You know? So it will increase a bit drastically compared to the solid one. So it should start it like this. Right, as you can see here. That even if, with a very uh, less increase in temperature, the vapor pressure has increased very much. Why? Because liquid it will have higher vapor pressure than solid, obviously. But initially here, the vapor pressure of both solid and liquid is both solid and liquid is what it is equal. So this is the point. If I just drop a perpendicular on the temperature axis, this point here it will represent what it will represent the freezing point of pure solvent. It will it will represent the freezing point of pure solvent. Now. If I take at the same temperature, if I take at the same temperature, this temperature, the vapor pressure of the solution will be a bit lower, yes or no? It will be somewhere here, yes or no? Please tell me. The vapor pressure of solution will be lower, na? Relative lowering of vapor pressure. When we add some solute into the solvent, then what happens? The vapor pressure is reduced. Yes or no, guys? Mazia, Minashi, Nawal. Yes, okay. What happened? What will happen to the vapor pressure in the solution where you have solid solute, Hania? Hania, tell me. Yes, sir. Vapor pressure of solvent is more or vapor pressure of solution is more if you have a solid solute. Which is greater? Solution. Tell me which is greater? P naught of A is greater. Is this true? P solution or P solution or P total, whatever you can write, okay? For non volatile. Tell you. Send your answer in chat, which is true. Send your answer in chat, all of you. A or B, which correct? Hai na? Aap log ka nahi assignment. Hai na? If you will not revise the things, then how will you come? You will not come. Last Thursday, he came. Hum logo ne. Okay, I'm not getting any answers now. Very good. At least look at your notebook, Hannah. Flip some pages, you will get the answer there. Fast, but huh? Jaldi kijiye. Question again. Are with what of the which of this correction which of this option is right? Answer say in dono me say. P not A is for solvent, pure solvent. P total is for solution. Sir, two logo ne answer kiya wa. Very good. At least flip some pages. Notebook may have your answer. Okay, who has answered till now? Mamuna, Hania, Hishma, Salman, Samaira.
Okay. How many have answered? Khalid is there. Khalil is there. Nawal is there. Samaira is there. Salman. Okay, fine. Okay. Khalid, can you please turn the mic on? Yes, sir. Okay. Can you go to the part of relative lowering of paper pressure? Okay. Relative lowering of paper pressure. Can you read the statement? Relative lowering of paper pressure out loud. When a non-volatile solute is dissolved in a solvent, paper pressure of solution becomes lower than that of pure solvent, which is known as relative lowering of vapor pressure. Now you tell me which of the options is right? A or B? A. Hania? Which of the options is right, Hania? A. Okay. Salman? Yes, Salman, which of the option is right? Is Salman not here? Oh, sorry, sir. A, A, A. My bad. A, na? Theek hai? So. Ab dhyan se dekhi aap log, okay? All of you, pil, all of you, please listen very carefully. The red dot, it represents the vapor pressure of, it represents the vapor pressure of what? Solution. Theek hai? Now you will tell me, which of the dot represents the vapor pressure of solution correctly? Red or green? Which of it represents the vapor pressure of solution correctly? Red or green? This black one is for pure solvent. Green. All of you agree, right? Green, yes or no, please tell me. Samaira, yes, Zainab, yes, Zarsh. Nawal, right? It will be green. Now, <clears throat> if the temperature is lower, then what will happen? If the temperature is lower, it will follow this path. And at this point, it will become what? At this point, it will become solid. Now if I drop this down, okay? Now, what is this? This is TF. This is what this is TF. TF means the vapor pressure of the vapor pressure of what? The vapor pressure of, sorry, the temperature at which solution is getting freezed. This temperature at which solution is getting freezed. The difference between these two will be delta TF. Okay. Is that clear? Yes or no? Please tell me, guys. Yes. Yes. Okay. I can write a point here. The freezing point of solution is dash than that of pure solvent. Yahan pe lower ya higher aapko choose karna hai, hai? Likhe ga khud se. Then that of pure solvent. This decrease in the freezing point is known as depression in freezing point. is known as depression in freezing point. Chalye. What are you filling in the dash? Higher or lower? Lower. Lower. Zainab. Aapko samaj mein aara Zainab?
Yes, Zainab, hello. Okay, Zainab, uh, can you please write something in the chat, Zainab, if, if I'm audible to you? Otherwise, it will be very difficult, no? So, the answer here will be lower. Uh, Zainab, so can we have an extra class on Friday? Uh, Zainab, tell me. Okay. So on which day are you free? Tell me. We can have extra lecture. In that, we will explain you everything. Saturday. Saturday at what time? Zainab at what time on Saturday? No, no, four to six nahi ho paega. Four to six I have another class. Okay. On Saturday, I have other batches, na? same time. Mein. Friday is a holiday for all the Middle East batch. That is why I was asking on Friday. Eleven to one. Okay, on Saturday. So eleven will be what time for me? Twelve and twelve thirty. Uh, for me, it will be 12.30 to 2.30. Uh, Saturday, 11.30, okay? Yeah. We will have a class, okay? Saturday, 11.30. Let me just uh, message the management also so that I will remember. Wait a second. Is everyone done? Yes or no? Yes. Okay, fine. Chali. Likhe hiya hape. For a solution. With non-volatile. Cost. Non-volatile. Salute. The difference in the freezing point of these, the difference in the freezing point of solution and solvent, it will be equal to T naught F minus TF. That means the freezing point of pure solvent minus the freezing point of solution. Also, one more thing is very much clear. All of you will tell me what will happen. What will happen if I add more and more solute? Then the freezing point of solvent Sorry, the freezing point of solution when I have added what? When I have added solute, what I'm doing, I'm adding more and more solute in the solution. Then can I say that freezing point of the solution will get lowered, yes or no? Yes. Right. That means the difference will be higher. The difference will be higher if it is getting more and more lower. That means the difference will be higher. The delta TF will be directly proportional to the concentration of solute. Now, the concentration term that directly depends on delta Tf is what it has been found to be molality, small m. And if I write a proportionality constant in order to remove this, sorry, in order to remove the proportionality constant, I will write a constant that is Kf into m that is molality, m that is molality. Okay, so this is the expression that you have to buy hard. Very easy expression, delta Tf is equal to Kf into m. Very similar to what? Very similar to the elevation in boiling point, okay? 
please remember this delta tf is what it is the depression in freezing point this delta tf is equal to it is equal to t not f minus t f what is this m m is molality what is this kf what is this kf kf is the molal freezing point depression constant molal freezing point depression constant it is also known as cryoscopic constant kf is also known as cryoscopic constant please write this down let me know when you are done Okay, let me know if you are not done. Okay, and write the topic. Now let us write that <clears throat> unit for KF and what is KF and how will you define KF. So write the topic: molal freezing point depression constant freezing point depression constant. Now what is molal? Freezing point depression constant. It is delta T F is equal to K F into M. And from here I can write K F is equal to delta T F upon M. If I talk in for in the terms of unit, then delta T F will be the difference in temperature. That means it will be Kelvin. Difference in temperature that will be in Kelvin per molality M minus one. Or you can also write this as K Kelvin. Kg per mole, Kelvin kg per mole. Okay, Kelvin kg per mole. These are the two units that you can see <coughs> for molar depression constant. Now, when we have to define a constant, please listen with this very carefully. Whenever we have to define a constant, whenever we have to define a constant, we have to put the variable on its side as unity. So what we will do? We will say that for a solution of for a Solution of concentration. How much concentration? One mole. That means one mole per kg. If this is my if this is my solution, in that case the delta T F will be equal to how much? The delta T F will be equal to K F into M. And what is M? M is equal to one. M is equal to one. That means. Delta T F is equal to K F. That means K F is equal to the depression in freezing point when, for a very particular case, K F is the depression in freezing point when the concentration of solution is one mole per kg. Is that right? Yes or no? Please tell me. Yes. You know what is K F? The molar depression, the molar freezing point depression constant is the depression in freezing point. You can either write when the cell, when the concentration of solution is one molal, or what you can write freezing point when one mole of solute is dissolved in one kg of solvent. Okay, please write this down. Let me know when you are done. After that. we will write about the determination of molar mass using dfp that means depression in freezing point determination of molar mass using 
depression in freezing point. Telling. Let me know if you are not done, and if you are done, let us try. <clears throat> delta T F is equal to, generally speaking, delta T will be equal to K F into the molality. Okay. And can you please scroll up? Okay. Fine. Yes, yes, Khalil. Please copy this down, please. Nee kya to? Done, sir. Done. So delta T F is equal to K F into M, and we all know what is the formula for molality. Tell me. Molality is equal to small m is equal to. Khalid. M is equal to. Yes, sir. Ha. Huh. M is equal to. Yes, Khalid. Molality is equal to B upon W A in kg. Yes, the N B number of moles of solute divided by the mass of solvent in kg. Okay, and also the number of moles of solute it will be equal to the mass of solute that is added in the solution divided by its molar mass. Divided by its molar mass. Now what I will do? I will write this formula here and write this K F into delta T F will be equal to K F into M. M is equal to N B upon W A. N B is equal to W B upon M B into W A in kg. Okay, this is equal to what? This is equal to delta T F. We have to determine what? We have to determine the molar mass. So what I will do? I will take this molar mass. I will place it. On the place of delta T F, and I will write this equation as M B is equal to K F into W B upon delta T F into W A in kg. ठीक है? So remember one this equation. Most of the times you will use. See, what I will suggest is that you understand this equation. Okay? And it is not very difficult to come from this equation to the. See, this is our original equation, है ना? अगर आपको ये भी याद है, then also it is enough. Then also it is enough, okay? You will be able to calculate the molar mass then also. But you have to remember that if I have delta T F and K F, then I can calculate the molar mass. I can calculate the molar mass, okay? Now, in terms of kg, if you write it, it will be like this. But I can write the same equation as K F into W B upon delta T F into W A. Now, if I want to write the W A in terms of grams, then I will have to divide it by thousand, na? And dividing by thousand will be same as multiplying thousand in the numerator. Now, here you can use the W A as in grams, but I will again suggest that use this formula. It is more better. Is me kya hota hai? That the K F has the unit Kelvin kg per mole, and this W is also having a unit of kg, so this kg and kg gets cancelled. Okay, so this is more important, and I will write what each thing mean here. M B is the molar mass of solute. K F, you all know it is what. Depression in freezing point constant. W B is mass of solute in solution 
delta T F. This is the depression in freezing point. Which is equal to how much? Which is equal to T naught F minus T F. And the last, that is W A. Mass of solvent in solution. Okay. Please write this down. Then we'll do one question. Then guys, yes or no, please tell me. Done, sir. Done? Okay. Write a question. What do you have to calculate? You have to calculate the delta TF. Okay. So for delta TF, you first of all calculate the molarity. For molarity, you have to find the number of moles. For number of moles, you have to find the molar mass first of all. Anna? First thing will be calculate the molar mass of C2H6O2. Then calculate the number of moles of ethylene gly gly glycol. And after that, you will calculate what? You will calculate the molarity. Anna? You will calculate the molarity. First of all, calculate MB. Then you will calculate the number of moles. Then you will calculate the molality. And after that, TF is given already here. So we'll write delta TF is equal to TF is how much? 1.86 Kelvin kg. Achha, this will be per mole. Okay, ML nahi hoga. This will be per mole. Kelvin kg per mole into the molality, whatever you have calculated. So first of all, you will calculate the molality and send me in the chat. Okay. Calculate the molality and send me in the chat.
calculate the molality and send the answer in chat please नहीं 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 सलमान इट इज सम मिस्टेक वॉट इज द मीनाशी करेक्ट हाँ सलमान नाउ करेक्ट ठीक है मीनाशी करेक्ट वेरी गुड यू जस्ट नीड टू मल्टीप्लाई है ना वॉट एवर द मोलालिटीज यू जस्ट नीड टू मल्टीप्लाई वन पॉइंट एट सिक्स टू दैट मोलालिटी यू विल गेट द डेल्टा टी एफ दिन द फर्स्ट इज डन द फ्रीजिंग पॉइंट ऑफ द सोल्यूशन सो वी नो डेल्टा टी एफ इज इक्वल टू now tf will be equal to i'm waiting for other answers from uh, delta tf sahi hai ha uh, samaira correct salman correct for delta tf also samaira correct for molality फलील यस मोलालिटी नहीं 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 देर सम मिस्टेक वॉट इज द नम वॉट इज द मोलर मास ऑफ इथाइलिन ग्लाइकोल फलील इथाइलिन ग्लाइकोल का मोलर मास कितना आया है आपका नहीं 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 फिर से कैलकुलेट कीजिए मीनाशी कुछ कैलकुलेशन मिस्टेक है बट आई विल अलाउ दैट मच ओके डेल्टा टी एफ आपने भेजा है डेल्टा टी एफ it's a, a bit uh ha now it is fine khalil correct that is the molar mass for uh no khalid nahi molality is not right what is the what is the molar mass for ethylene glycol khalid molar mass for ethylene glycol ha ah, fine but aapne kyun kya galti kar di please check your calculation khalid please check your calculation हिशमा नो आई थिंक यू हैव नॉट कन्वर्टेड द मास ऑफ सॉल्वेंट इन टू के जी आपने उसको ग्राम्स में ही रखा है शायद हिशमा यस हानिया मोलालिटी इज राइट मोलालिटी इज राइट यस समायरा डेल्टा टी एफ इज करेक्ट वेरी गुड अच्छा नाउ जस्ट अ सेकेंड गाइज ओके जस्ट अ सेकेंड आई विल रिप्लाई फॉर योर आंसर दो हैव गॉट द डेल्टा टी एफ दो हैव गॉट द डेल्टा टी एफ ओके ट्राई कैलकुलेटिंग दिस You have to calculate the freezing point of solution. That means you have to calculate the you have to calculate the TF. Okay. Uh, Naval, this is molality, right? Naval, yes or no? Ha. Huh. I will allow that much. Okay, fine. Now, uh, those who have written the you those who have got the answer for delta TF, you all will send the what is T not F? T not F, कितना होगा? What will be the value for T not F? You all will send me. समायरा ने दिया है आंसर डेल्टा टी एफ का आई थिंक सलमान हैज ऑल्सो गिवन मी एन आंसर फॉर डेल्टा टी एफ मीनाशी ऑल्सो हाँ सलमान मीनाशी एंड समायरा टेल मी वॉट इज हाँ कैन वी बी अ बिट नो 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 नॉट दैट मच कैलविन स्केल में बताइए कितना होगा टी नॉट एफ दैट नॉट द राइट आंसर सलमान थिंक 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 यूर नियर ओनली एग्जैक्ट वैल्यू याद नहीं आ रही है आपको खालिद नाउ दी मोलालिटी करेक्ट नो 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 सलमान खालिद आपका सही है सलमान के लिए नो था सलमान नो मैमूना ओके नहीं 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 मैमूना खालिद डेल्टा टी एफ इज राइट मीनाशी अच्छा टी नॉट एफ की वैल्यू बता रही है मीनाशी एंड मेमोना यू आर राइट बट यू कैन बी अ बिट मोर एक्यूरेट है ना मीनाशी एंड मेमोना पॉइंट वन फाइव होगा आखिरी में 
okay and then you can calculate tf then you can calculate tf okay okay fine so those who have not answered till now molality is 1.21 mole per kg and the delta tf comes out to be if i replace this value as 1.21 it comes out to be 2.25 kelvin chaliye now raise your hand if you have no idea what is t not f raise your hand if you have no idea what is t not f please raise your hand if you have no idea what is t not f सबको पता है टी नॉट एफ क्या है चलिए ठीक है हाँ मैमोना नहीं आपने कुछ मिस्टेक कर दिया देखिए कैलकुलेशन मतलब टाइप करने में शायद मिस्टेक है मीनाशी दैट इज करेक्ट फाइन मीनाशी का सही है मैमोना एफ थिंक यू हैव डन सम मिस्टेक इन राइटिंग द थिंग ऑल इज टी एफ नहीं नहीं ठीक है ओके आई विल अग्री दैट इज टी नॉट एफ सलमान दैट इज टी नॉट एफ Whatever you are answering, that is T not F. Okay, Salman. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. All of you know what is T not F? Hania. Hania. No sir. Yes. T not F. पता है क्या होगा? No sir. No. तो फिर I told ना. Raise your hand, please. चलिए raise your hand. If you don't know what is T not F, please raise your hand, guys. At least Hania, आप तो अब raise कर दीजिए. हाँ. Who else? ओके नाउ एवरीवन नोस हिशमा को नहीं पता ओके समायरा ओके हु एल्स हु एल्स नो वन ओके कैन आई हैव योर माइक ऑन ऑल ऑफ यू समायरा हिशमा एंड हानिया दोस हु डोंट नो ठीक है टी नॉट एफ इज द फ्रीजिंग पॉइंट ऑफ व्हाट सॉल्यूशन और सॉल्वेंट टेल मी सॉल्वेंट Again, repeat the whole thing. Say, say it out loud. T not F is the. Say. Samaira, Hania, and Hishma. Say it, na. Boli ka aa jayega aap logo ko. You all know the answer. Samaira, T not F is the. Freezing point of. Boli ye do. Complete the sentence. Solvent, pure solvent. Ha. Again, repeat, repeat with me. Freezing point. Of freezing point of. I believe me, na. Trust me on this at least. I'm just asking you to repeat the things. Hania, Hishma, can you please turn the mic on? Ha, Hishma. Tell me, tell me. T not F is the freezing point of dash. Your solvent. What is the solvent here? In this question, what is the solvent, Hishma? Water. अब बताइए टी नॉट एफ की वैल्यू क्या होगी वॉट विल वैल्यू फॉर टी नॉट एफ हिशमा हाँ हानिया इट इज फाइन लेकिन इट विल बी मोर एक्ट और पॉइंट वन फाइव होगा वॉट एवर यू हैव रिटर्न देर विल बी पॉइंट वन फाइव ऑल्सो हिशमा कैन यू प्लीज संदी माइक ऑन वो गॉड इतनी माइक आप लोग ऑफ करने में इतना तेज रहते हैं कि क्या ही बताए समायरा आपको आ गया Yes, Samaira. Samaira, up. Samaira, T not F. Agia. Yes, yes or no? Can we go? Let's go. Zero point one five. Zersh, what about you? Zersh, no answer. Not your. 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 केल्विन में बताइए समायरा केल्विन में बताइए जर्श यू आर नॉट हियर ओके नवाल ने कुछ आंसर्स दिए हैं शायद नो नवाल हैज आल्सो नॉट सेंट मी एनी नहीं नवाल ने बस मोरालिटी भेजा है नथिंग एल्स हाँ करेक्ट समायरा अब आगे कीजिए प्लीज कंप्लीट Still working on what, Samaya Zarsh? 
डेल्टा टी एस के लिए कैन यू प्लीज टर्न दी माई कॉन्सर्स प्लीज Zarsh, can you please turn the mic on? Zarsh, am I audible? Hello. Are can you please turn the mic on at least? वो mic on करने से थोड़ी ना रोक देगा. माई वॉइस इज ओनली लागिंग ओके इंडिया आ गए क्या आप हाँ समायरा करेक्ट अप्रोक्सीमेटली करेक्ट हानिया चलिए टी नॉट एफ विल बी वॉट टू सेवेंटी थ्री पॉइंट वन फाइव माइनस टी एफ इज इक्वल टू टू पॉइंट टू फाइव तो दिस विल बी इक्वल टू हाउ मच दिस विल बी इक्वल टू 270.90 kelvin please write this down let me know when you are done you raise your hand if you are done वगैरह प्लीज जल्दी लिख लीजिए आप लोग ओके फाइन मोस्ट ऑफ यूर डन ओके फाइन 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 आई थिंक एवरी वन इज डन चलिए नाउ आई हैव टू टेल यू वन मोर थिंग इन एडिशन टू द असाइनमेंट दैट यू आर दैट यू रिसीव ना इन एडिशन टू द असाइनमेंट दैट यू रिसीव यू हैव टू डू अ फ्यू मोर थिंग्स ओके नाउ सिंस द सॉल्यूशन चैप्टर इज कमिंग टू एन एंड सिंस द सॉल्यूशन चैप्टर इज कमिंग टू एन एंड यू शुड हैव अ नोटबुक ओके इन दैट नोटबुक यू शुड हैव All the solutions for NCERT exercises and in-text questions. Whatever, it, if it is related to NCERT, then it should be present in that notebook. Okay. Now, even if the teacher in your class is giving you homework for NCERT, you will do the homework in that notebook only. Okay. Just tell your teacher honestly, sir, I have made a notebook in which I am solving all the NCERT questions. Okay. And say them that this will help me in in my examination whenever I have to revise something. Then I can directly look up in the NCERT textbook. I can also see what are the questions that made that were difficult for me and where I have to focus more. ठीक है? Tell your plan to your teacher, class teacher, and आपको बार बार वही चीज़ नहीं करना पड़ेगा. I hope that your class teacher also gives you some questions as homework from NCERT. Okay. Now in that notebook of NCERT, you will just solve the paper, just solve the questions of NCERT. Okay. And now you will be sending me the, you will be solving them and sending me the answers. so i am giving you guys some dates so from 2.1 to 2.7 okay 2.1 to 2.7 you will solve these click a photo and send this as pdf to learnee view and the whatsapp number that you have now to learnee view you will send this on what is today today is tuesday now so you will send this by thursday theek okay? hai you will get a reminder on thursday theek okay? hai i will make sure that you get a reminder theek okay? hai on thursday you will get a reminder that you have to send me next is from 2.8 to 2. 18 now there is a series of 10 questions here why because these are mostly theoretical questions you don't need to solve them okay there are some 
questions on uh, molality concentration terms from 2.1.22 from 2.1 to 2.7 but 2.8218 it is mostly uh, these are mostly those questions which are theoretical type so you will send this on saturday okay again you will get a reminder next is 2.34 to 2.38 okay so you will send these on monday okay and further on i will tell you guys okay also thursday jo aapki class hoti hai thursday i am not there and i will be traveling on thursday that is why this thursday that means the date will be uh 2nd of 2nd june there will be no class but i will give you some work okay i will give you some work acha khalil which chapter continuous tests for which chapter so tomorrow i have chemistry uh, alcohol phenols and ether only one chapter yes okay so and after that after that english english and after that so that's it hai that's so, it so uh theek hai you can up saturday ko dono bhej sakte hai na 2.1 se leke 2.18 what do you think friday ko karke saturday ko karke yes sir hai na to saturday ko ab thursday ko mat bhejiye theek hai aapka agar test wagera hai to but saturday ko you will send me 2.1 to 2.18 okay fine chaliye now uh, please raise your hand if you are having any type of tests in school ek to khalil ka ho raha please raise your hand if you are having any type of test okay maimuna pe chal raha hai test minashi khalil hania mazia nawal nawal ka nahi chal raha kya nawal okay khalid sir 